Welcome back to KA's Family Homestead. talk a little bit about the calypso so um it's is a foreign uh garden inside garden uh so i personally never seen it uh, i've been looking for it on youtube and haven't seen it so this is the first time i bought it it looked it cool i wanted to see exactly uh how it will come out if I set it up. Um, I already did some of my seedlings and everything, but I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna set it all up. I'm gonna try to do some peppers here, and um, and hey, let's see how it goes. All right, guys. So what I did here was just filled up the soil about probably halfway from these containers here, and what I'm gonna do now is poke holes in each one of them and about I want to say half inch deep and then I will throw in the pepper seedlings um, and then here is where I'm going to fill it up with water and it actually has a level that I fill it up to um, and that's how I maintain the water level all right, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so we put the dirt in and we poke the holes in, we put the pepper seeds in it. It's two different kind of peppers I'm planting today. It's gonna be actually sweet pepper and hot pepper. Um, so we use all 36 rolls. And right now I and I did spray the, the dirt, the soil so it can be moist. Uh, because this is a, a greenhouse and does have a cap to go over it is basically going to get the humidity as a greenhouse and be able to keep the warmth within. And, uh, and I'm hoping that it actually does a good job with these peppers because peppers do need plenty of heat and warmth to uh, be able to germinate. So if from seed and soil, I am going to mist again the soil um, just to make sure is it has a good uh, uh, wetness on top. Um, and then we're gonna put the water in. And I definitely hope this works. Um, like I said, I never seen this, it's called the Calypso, um, and I don't know, I haven't seen no ratings. It's actually from France. Uh, if anybody uh, seen this or has this here and actually did something with it and it actually came out, then please let me know, leave it in the comments. But this is real new. I'm, I looked again on YouTube to 
see if I can get any reviews. Um, and I haven't seen that one. So I'm going to put the water in here as I was telling you. It has a little level exactly how much water it holds. I have three gallons of water here. So I am going to start with the first gallon. Oh, no. Over soaking. Okay, so it took the first gallon, so let's go on to the second, and let's see if it takes this one. jumping so I just want to make sure I don't overdo it um, it is going up so yeah. wow okay well yeah two gallons of water and it filled it completely. Let me show you guys, okay? So, I'm gonna cap it. And let me see if I show you guys, okay. Let's see if I can get a better picture. All right, so it's actually right now at the max. Um, so, there you have it. Is at the uh, full level. We got the seeds in. We got them um, tagged and organized. Um, so we planted it. We all down to the final straw. We have the top here that's gonna go over, over it like this. And I'm assuming it's supposed to keep the humidity and the heat within. We're gonna close these little holes up top. And we're actually, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside of this lid. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is to get some moist moisture, some humidity in there. Um, I will put this right in front of my, um, my window to get some sun and hopefully it gets it warm. Once it starts getting warm, I'll go ahead and put a, a, a thermometer in there and make sure it's not cooking it. But right now at this stage, they need all the warmth they can. So that's what I'm shooting for. So I will let you guys know on furthermore, hopefully we get a better, uh, result when the preppers come in. So I'm gonna mark this day, uh, which is the 25th, and I am gonna mark it and post it, and let's see how long it takes for the germination to happen. I'll get back to you guys. Take it easy.